So I'm actually in the middle of an experiment right now. For the last 10,000 minutes, which is roughly seven days, it's clickbait. For 10,000 minutes, I have been off of social media. How long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, since I was 10. So that includes everything like TikTok and Instagram. It also includes video. So not just YouTube, but movies, podcasts, and music, among other things. The reason why I'm doing this is just to see what happens. And something did happen recently. I realized how much more vivid life is with social media. Have you seen La La Land? No. It's very jazz based. Now using social media has kind of brought me back to my childhood a little bit. What are we playing now? It's a song called Estate. I don't know who wrote it, but this dude named Joao Gilberto did it. It's a good one. I like it. It's about how, like, damn, falling in love can be a real bitch. Why can it be a real bitch? Well, it was for him. Or whoever wrote this song. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably cut this out, but I feel like Instagram is over-sexualizing us men. I mean, you go to the Explore page, I don't know what you guys see, but for me, it's a lot of uh, bare-naked ladies. And I'm not talking about the band. Oh, is, are there lyrics in it or something, or how do you know? Yeah, it goes... It goes, estate. Se calda comi bachi que o perduto. Se piena do namore que passato. Is this what life is about? Swiping, texting, constantly going through my emails. I mean, this is a little off topic, but they don't make movies like they used to. There's no such thing as like a classic anymore. I haven't seen a classic in years. And I kind of feel like our society is losing its essence a little bit. Deep in Jiva. When I first moved to Austin in 2018, I saw a lot more kitschy and strange and weird corner stores. But now all of these corner stores are being replaced by these gaudy monstrosities that we call multifamily apartment complexes. And I understand that you have to increase your bottom line, but you can't increase the bottom line of everything because then nothing will be left but a bunch of this stuff, skyscrapers. And I can't be the only one who's thinking this. I just feel like taste in general in society is disappearing. And it kind of just begs the question of like, am I changing? Is the world changing? I really do think if you surveyed 100 people on the street, they would all say that life has just changed. The world has changed. Ever since everything became harder for whatever reason, uh, it's just like, you gotta acquiesce to the cosmic flow, you know? When there's do only, things become harder? There's only thing, there's only, there's only so much you can control. What if, what's become harder? Yeah, or when? When? Yeah. Mm. I feel like technology and finance, technology is yeah. just really another antagonism. There's some benefits to it, but since it's mainly uh, profit driven, because we live in a money system, the benefits of technology can't really be harvested as much. But maybe that's just all a part of the process too. I'm not trying to make this into like a depressive therapy session, but it's really just an observation. I can't help but think of all of the just lonely people out there who after the pandemic, whether it was the pandemic that caused it or not, are just like not themselves anymore. Like the world just isn't the same. Maybe this is not true, maybe I'm the only one experiencing this, but from the people that I've talked to, friends, family, strangers on the street, like they're feeling the same kind of vibes that I am. I don't like the idea of corporate cybernetics. <laughs> As we stare at the Google building? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> plural. <laughs> the <Building>. Google buildings. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll ever be able to go back to how life was. I hope that we will, but it really took me not watching social media, not listening to music, not consuming any content or media for just a few days to realize that life is just like more boring and bleaker than it used to be. What's your message to the world? Whew. It keeps changing. That it, you know, anything's humanly possible, maybe. I like that. 
I'm actually curious if you were to remove social media for a few days, how your life would change. I don't know. It's just, it's a little disappointing the direction that our world is heading. And I'm not going to complain that that's just how the system is, because at the end of the day, it really comes back to you. I know this is a little bit Buddhist to say, but in order to change the world, you have to change yourself. So what I'm going to do moving forward is just create more like culture and taste and essence to kind of bring back what it used to be when we were growing up. I mean, who even goes to the movies anymore? I used to hang out at the movies all the time. Nobody goes there anymore. And I feel like a lot of people have the same complaint. Are we just going to accept the reality for, for what it is? Like, I, I want to bring back how I used to feel as a kid. And I hope I never grow up. That's my number one wish in life, is that I hope I never grow up. I, I wonder why we, like, cr created this capitalism anyway. Like, I mean, I would argue maybe humans are capitalistic by nature, but what is it about money in particular? I think it's debt, actually. Historically, it was the debt of certain monarchies that kicked off uh, the slave trade. I mean, wars cost money, and someone's got to finance them. And it wasn't always the royal families that were doing that, you know? Back in the day, European monarchies took on debt to finance their wars and expand their empires. What this guitarist is basically saying is that modern-day capitalists are doing the same thing to take over the world. Take on large amounts of debt in order to acquire more property and expand their empire. I'm not sure what I'm leaving you with here other than, like, I just hope that you can understand where I'm coming from with all of the stuff, just the culture just disappearing. Like, man, there are just skyscrapers everywhere and construction cranes. And it's like, fuck the bottom line. Can we, can we increase the bottom line? Can we increase the profits, but also like just bring back the taste? Is it like one or the other? Because I feel like fuck, we have enough buildings already. We have enough boring, bland movies that are coming out that are just copy-paste, 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 these bite-sized pieces of information on TikTok and Instagram that you're gonna freaking forget anyway. Can we just bring back the art that we used to have? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like our tax, our system of taxation is based on like augmentation of the value of land. They want to increase the tax base. So what do they do? Attract more investment. What does that look like? Better paying jobs, people who can buy homes. Some, someone buys a home for a hundred thousand dollars more than what the price used to be, then that's going to jack up all the other prices in the neighborhood. Because that's our system.